Okay, today we are going to draw a sash banner thing. Um, this is pretty easy. It's going to be really fast. So I'm just going to start. The first thing I'll do is grab my rectangle tool and just drag out and draw a simple banner that I think will be long enough to hold the text I want to put into it. I usually choose a visible color or something that would be believable as a banner. Uh, it only needs to be whatever color will accentuate your text. Once I create that piece, I'm going to option click and drag because speed is the name of the game. And I just want to make the ends of the banner, these little things over here. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to grab my add anchor point tool and using the little smart guides that pop up to show me where center is of that left side of the path of the rectangle, I'm going to add in an anchor point there and use my direct select tool to pull that in along with, I'm using the, the guide so I know where center is to just create something that looks like a notched ribbon cut out. I'm going to, I created a gradient in here so I'm going to select my gradient because I want to fill this with a gradient just to make it look a little more realistic. And once I do that, uh, since I'm cheating today, I will just grab that, make a copy of it. I want like a little triangle that I'm going to put in here to make it look like the part of the ribbon that's folded under before it gets to this part of the ribbon. So I'm going to go back in with my delete anchor point tool, delete that anchor point, and delete this one. I will use my rotate tool. And again, this, I'm going to have to shift this around a little bit. But I'm going to drag that into position. I'm going to right click, arrange, and send to back. I'm going to grab this and grab my direct select tool. And just make this look. I can zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to make this look like it's the piece that wraps around under here. If I'm not happy with the way the gradient looks in that, I can always grab my gradient tool and change the direction of the gradient. So it looks the way I want it to. I think that's it. Okay, so I'm going to zoom back out. And once I have that in place, I'm going to grab Select Tool, hold down Shift key, and just group these two together by going to Object, Group, and send them backwards again. Once I've got that in place, I just want to make one on the other side that looks exactly the same. So rather than go through the whole shebang of free hat, at re rehabbing, that's not a word, uh, having to draw that. Again, I will option, click, and drag, and transform, reflect. If I've got it the way I want it, I mean, I know I got to drag it into position, I'll just click OK, and then slide that into place. And again, you see those pink lines pop up. I'm using smart guides to do this. Once I've got that in place, I want to do the warp. So. I'm going to select the whole thing, go back to Object Menu, choose Group, and now everything is grouped together. Then from Effects Menu, I'm going to choose Warp, and the warp I'm going to choose for this is Arc. I've got my arc set to 20%. 20% looks like it's going to work for this. If I wanted to change it, I could always 
bump up the bend if I thought I needed to. I could always bump it down if I thought I needed to do that, depending on whatever my client asked for. Once I'm happy with it, I'm going to click OK. And since I've got that on my sash layer, I'm going to lock that layer so I don't accidentally bump it out of place. Next, I'm going to grab my arc tool, which pen tool might actually be a better choice for this, but um, the arc tool will allow me to draw an arc that doesn't really work for this. So I'm going to grab my direct select tool, grab the end point for that arc I just drew, play with the handles. I'm only doing this to make a path to position the text that I'm going to put on the banner. And in the interest of being able to see that path, I'm just going to make it a different color. So I think that'll work. Now what I need to do is grab my type on a path tool and hover over the path until I see that little pink um, path indicator come up to let me know that I'm actually on the path with my text tool. Click and I've already chosen uh, paragraph align center so my cursor is right smack in the center of my banner and I'm just going to type my text. Okay, once I put that there, I'm going to lock that in place, unlock my sash layer, and sometimes to make things look more realistic, I will apply another effect by going to Effect Menu, Stylize, Drop Shadow, and I will add a drop shadow to make this look like it's sort of popping off the page. And that's it.